Hi, this is Chris from the Brantford Public Library. Today I will be making cherry blossom art using items you may have around the house. First I will demonstrate using a pop bottle and later I will show you two other cool tools to make this art. These are the supplies you will need for the first artwork. Canvas, paint, paintbrush, plate, and a pop bottle. Pour black paint into a tray. You, if you prefer, you can outline it in pencil first as I did. Then start painting the branches on the canvas. Continue painting the branches until it's the way you want it, and then let it dry before beginning the stamping. Pour the pink paint into a tin foil plate or paper plate. Notice the pop bottle has five points like the five petals of a cherry blossom. Dip the bottom of the pop bottle into the paint and then start stamping onto one of the branches. Get fresh paint each time you are ready to stamp. Keep stamping until you have it the way you would like. I decided to paint a circle in the middle of the flowers for a little definition. Now I will show you two other tools to try. I've already painted the tree and branches to save time. The first method is to take five Q-tips and put an elastic band around them. Again, you will have the five points of the five petals of a cherry blossom. And then just dip in the paint and stamp onto the branches. Another fun tool is that yucky green vegetable broccoli. That's right, dip the raw broccoli into the paint and away you go. The kids will love to do this as well. I see a few blobs so I should probably press a little lighter. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed how to make cherry blossom artwork three different ways. 
check out the home base activities page on the Brantford Public Library website for more adult programs. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.